Shout out to everybody who came out today. Welcome to Cali's Take. Your first time, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get the newest and the bonus content that's put out. We put out content every day. And hey, this is where we keep it Cali and you won't miss any content here. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Today's topic, I want to say, we'll be talking about, you know, why not the Clippers? You know, the the Phoenix Suns are where the L.A. Clippers should be. And when I say that, I say that with conviction because when you look at last night's game, you're looking at a hobbled Giannis and you're looking at a Phoenix Suns team that should just be better. That should just be, you know, the favorite in this series. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Bucks have an opportunity. They have a chance. They have every opportunity in the world to win this series. But are they going to win it? I don't think so. Um I think the Phoenix Suns should win this series in uh, six games, five, five, six games. Um, I think this. Uh, I think that DeAndre Aiden is going to be a little too much for an uh, injured Giannis, and I just think that the Bucks all around just don't have a better team. You know, when I look down the list of the Suns, you know, as much as I hate to say it, but uh, the Suns are they're just better in every phase. In this series, to me, they're better than they're better in in every phase. I mean, Cam Johnson, I'll take him over um, over any player, pretty much on you know Milwaukee besides the stars. Um, he's probably the best role player in this series between both teams. I mean, you could put PJ Tucker over him, but PJ Tucker, you know, he's hit or miss with his three point shot. You know, he's more defensive minded. Cam Johnson plays good defense, solid defense, and he can knock down big shots, just as he did last night and throughout other series. You know, Chris Paul is going to be a handful for them, just getting into the lane, doing what he wants to do, finding Devin Booker, which is another handful for them. Um, then, you know, Mikael Bridges hasn't came on yet. You know, Jay Crowder hasn't came on yet fully, you know. So, I mean, they got other pieces, you know, it's, it's going to be really tough. Then campaign can't forget about him. I mean, it's, 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 I don't know. I mean, I would, like I said, I would be surprised if this series is over in five games, but, um, you know, of course we'll see how that goes, but I definitely say the Clippers should be right in this, right, right in this series now. Because if the Clippers were here, it would be the same thing. The Clippers would be up 1-0 in this series because I just don't think the Bucks are a threat to either team. You know, um, the Suns or the Clippers. I don't think the Bucks are a threat to either one. I mean, I think Kawhi Leonard, if he was healthy, I think he would have had, you know, 30-plus points, of course, with a couple of steals and um, maybe about five assists, four or five assists, you know, with about nine rebounds. Uh, I think Paul George would have had about 25 plus, you know, with about 10 rebounds, with about, you know, seven assists, something like that, you know. So uh, I think Reggie Jackson would have scored somewhere around the 20s himself. Um, I think uh, if the Clippers were in this series, I think they would definitely dominate. I think they would win in five or six games as well. I just don't see the Bucks putting up a really good fight, any good resistance. This should be a this like i said this to me this should be a pretty uh quick finals i don't expect much out of the bucks even though they can surprise me and the rest of the world but um like i said uh the team just the suns look very overwhelming to them i mean to me in towards the bucks so i don't see uh the bucks really you know making this too competitive i mean like i said it might go 6 games maybe but i wouldn't be surprised if it go 5 but um, at the same time, you know, when I look at the Phoenix Suns, as I'm looking at the game last night, you know, I just don't feel like the right team is there. I don't feel like the right team made it. I don't feel like they were the better team, you know, and it just it, it stings, even though I'm not a Clippers fan, but I still want to see things go the right way. And to me, the the right way would have been for the Clippers to 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 advance, you know, that that would have been the 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 right way for it to go, you know. Um you know, but we could talk about how the Clippers should advance, you know, they didn't, but at the same time, you know, it just 
I don't know. To me, I'm going to put an asterisk around this championship, my, me personally, um, because like I said, this is a playoffs where all the great superstars were fallen and they fell. And now you have the reserves basically in the finals, because no matter what nobody says, the Bucks, like as a team is a reserve type team compared to the Brooklyn Nets. You know, that's just the way I see it. You know, when the Nets should have been in the finals and the Clippers should have been in the finals. So to me, there again, the Suns, they earned it. They got there. But let's just keep it real. They're a reserve type team compared to the Clippers. The Clippers should have been in the finals. No doubt about it. And I guarantee you the finals would be more exciting if the Clippers were in it. Whether it was the Clippers versus the Bucks or the Nets, the, the the finals would be more exciting. I mean, to be quite honest, um, I'm gonna do videos on the finals. Like I said, you know, um, you know, I said I was gonna do that. I put it in, um, you know, one of my uh, comments there that I was that I was gonna do some uh, finals because I know uh, some people were reaching out to me and they said they wanted me to do some finals you know, do the finals and, uh, you know, analyze that and see how it goes. And, you know, I'm going to be a man of my word and do that. But at the same time, I can't say I feel w overwhelmingly happy about what I'm seeing because, like I said, the wrong team is just not there. I mean, the, the wrong team is there and the right team is not in it, you know. And um, that bothers me because, like I said, you know, I feel like the Clippers deserved it. I feel like they fought so hard. And um, but I mean, it's no need to really, you know, cry over that because, like I said, they're not there. But at the same time, if the Suns win this championship, you just know in your mind this was the Clippers championship to win. And it's really no no way of no other way of looking at it, you know, because if the Clippers were healthy, let's just be honest. The Suns wouldn't even have made it to be quite honest with you. If the Lakers were healthy, the Suns wouldn't have got out the first round. So, I mean, you know, I, the, you know, I got to give credit where credit is due, you know, for the Phoenix Suns. But, you know, I just don't feel like this finals has that same effect. I don't feel like this finals is going to be, you know, one of those finals where a lot of people are going to, you know, enjoy it to that highest level because these two teams are just not who were expected. You know, it, you know, either you were probably thinking as an NBA fan, you probably were thinking the Lakers and the Nets or the Clippers and the Nets in the finals. Pretty, I guarantee you a lot of people, including analysts, including anybody else you can probably think of, thought the finals would be somewhere in that circumference right there. Lakers, Nets or Clippers and Nets. And that's pretty much what everybody was thinking. And to be honest with you, that's pretty much what everybody was kind of hoping to see because it, it makes the, the finals more exciting. And um, I don't want to diminish anything from the Suns. You know, shout out to them for getting to the finals, uh, even though I'm not a fan of them as well. Um, I do like Devin Booker. And uh, I pull for my guy, Cam Johnson. You know what I'm saying? I always rep UNC. You know, he's from there. But um, as far as the team, no. Never been a – big Chris Paul fan at all. You know, I do like DeAndre Ayton too. I'm not going to lie, but uh, he's just on the wrong team. <laughs> and then as far as the Bucks, you know, that's just not a team that I see that, you know, can beat any of the elite teams if they're healthy. I'm not even sure the Bucks would have beaten the Atlanta Hawks if Trey Young didn't get hurt. And Trey Young was his self. I'm just not sure, you know. But at the same time, you know, like I said, shout out to them, too. They got there. Game one was last night. They, uh, you know, Giannis played. He found a way to go out there and try to play, you know. Um, he didn't look overly dominant, you know. But at the same time, I guess he has to get his rhythm back, too. And depending on how bad his leg is, you know, that uh, – you know, hopefully everything bodes well for him going forward in the finals. But um, like I said, the wrong team is there in the Phoenix Suns. And that's just the way I see it. And actually, well, technically the wrong team is there in regards to the Bucks Because if the Bucks, you know, uh, if the Nets were healthy, they would be in the finals. So, I mean, you know, um, not overly excited about the NBA finals, but I will do videos on it. So, um, hey, you know, I know the Clippers are looking at the, the finals right now thinking that should be us. And that's exactly how they should be thinking, because no doubt that should be them.
And it should be them hosting the trophy this year, winning the championship, holding it down for L.A., even though I'm not a, a Clippers fan. But, you know, keeping the championship in L.A. would have been a lot better than seeing the championship go somewhere else. You know, um, so, you know, the finals is, uh, you know, the Suns are up 1-0 right now. Um, you know, shout out to them. We'll see how the rest of the finals goes. But uh, at the same time, you know, um, man, the Clippers were right there. But, hey, that's my take on everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be um, kind of brief about it, you know, because I'm not overly excited about the finals. Um, but, hey, if you uh, – if you want to leave any comments in the comment section, let me know what you think and let you know what you think about my comments and uh, let me know how you feel. And, um, hey, you know, Cali out.